Welcome back to our series on learning the dual swords of Achille Marozzo. We are still on the offense this week, but while fun, this exercise might be a bit tricky. So let's break it down and learn it step by step. We start once more with the left leg forward and swords at our right, pointing towards the opponent who is in a similar position. Displace their left sword, so the inner one, with your own left sword, true edge leading. You basically go into a left-handed version of Guardia di Testa to open up their right side. During that motion, throw a falso impuntado, a turning horizontal blow to their head that lands with the false edge or the punta. Additionally, advance with your right foot to your right side and follow with a right-handed mandrito to their leg, into Porta di Ferro Larga. Basically, this is a bit different, slightly more complex version of last week's exercise. The next part reads a bit funny, but is fairly simple. We strike two times from our left with each hand. The first one is a falso. A rising falso from Porta di Ferro Larga with our right, and, in my interpretation, a Krumpau-like with our left through a hanging position like Giovanni Dalla Gocchia's Guardia di Testa. These two ensure our safety. Our right hand clears any thrusts towards our torso or head and our left protects us from any blows. Feel free to beat the false edge of your right into the left sword like in the crossed swords defense of earlier chapters. In my opinion, both actions are closely linked. Doing the falsi, take a small step with your right foot to your left and then pass with your left foot to your left as you throw two true edge strikes. Marozzo doesn't specify them, but I'd advise you to strike them at different heights to make parrying them harder. You could even throw your left into Porta di Ferro Larga again. I usually aim for their head and thigh and go into strata positions. Last but not least, we retreat back once again by crossing our swords, this time over our head, as half turns of our hands should lead us into Coda Longa e Stretta and Coda Longa e Alta with the right leg forward. And that's it. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or feedback. Don't forget to like and subscribe, we really appreciate your support. Until next time, get out there and enjoy your training.